introduce uh, heated remarks about this particular case. Uh, I do think uh, the Corporation Council pointed out uh, that we're not retrying this particular case. That's <coughs> the point here. But I think it also uh, points out a very significant problem that we have here. Uh, we are setting a precedent that the council is now, without recommendation from anybody, without a recommendation from an ethics board, without a recommendation of the corporation council, Mr. Kaidi's bill was passed on to this council without a recommendation, just passed on to us. And now the council is taken onto itself a very dangerous precedent because in the public eye there is a perception of conflict of interest. Careful now, perception of conflict of interest. And that's what we're all about is this matter of perception. But we are now dealing with one of our own. Whether it's Mr. Kaides or somebody else, I don't think is relevant. We are dealing with one of our own, and we are making a decision on reimbursing his legal fees, and we are making a decision on what those legal fees should be. This is totally wrong. This should be referred to another body, Corporation Council, is a very good prospect, for their review, their recommendation, back to the council and their recommendation for the appropriate fee, reasonable fee, to quote the state statute. The state statute has this all written down, but we don't in our code. This case was dealt with under a code of ethics where the reimbursement for legal fees was silent. I think it is important that council people feel that they're protected against suits in the line of their duty, frivolous suits, other things. And there are indemnification uh, uh, items in the Norwalk Code. They're not clear that they cover what's going on here with the ethics. State statute is very clear, and I think there's something that we have to do in the future about this. And of course, the new code of ethics is very clear that the uh, commission, the board, can make a finding for a respondent and ask the council for reimbursement. But the critical point is that another body, independent of the council, an independent body, and everybody's prejudiced, sure, but nevertheless, there is another independent body that is going to make a recommendation to the council and the council acts on that. That's very much different than the council taking, it on, taking this matter onto its own and moving ahead with it. That is a conflict of interest. So I, I support uh, Councilman Brown's motion. Actually, I wanted to call the question because I didn't want to get into this at this point. Uh, but I support her motion, but I'm going to follow it up with a motion refer this matter back to the Corporation Council for their recommendation on both matters. Thank you.